good morning i wanted to share with you one of my favorite spots i am at bowman bay let me take these off you can't see me i'm at bowman bay and um actually i've now jumped over to this side which is the rosario bay one of my favorite areas for a hike to paddle you can bring your paddleboard uh, your kayak definitely a gorgeous area and of course we're pacific northwest we have cold water so absolutely be wearing the correct gear dry suit wetsuit and checking for the wind the tide the current before you come out on this side otherwise you can go to cranberry lake perfectly protected um pass lake you know those are those are a lot warmer and a lot safer so if you might be new to the water and don't know all the precautions to take definitely go to one of the lakes but here we are you can drive down highway 20 turn on to rosario drive and that gets you to this section and uh, let me share this with you absolutely wonderful hike you know um definitely wear some good shoes this is this is the terrain it is it's quite rocky definitely craggy um, but it's such a fun area one of the things that i love about this spot is that when there's a low tide you can come out you can check out all the tide pools and get to see the starfish or if you are in a kayak you can paddle over to one of the islands and you definitely get a different variety of starfish especially if it's low tide um you do need a low tide to see them uh, we have the sea cucumbers one of my favorite things is actually the birds we do get a lot of the um, harlequin ducks they like to hang out here with us we have the oyster catchers um you can always tell them by their high shrill. If you ever think of little girls at recess and how loud they scream and squeal, if you listen for that, you're gonna find an oyster catcher. And so it's always fun that I can typically find them um, by sight, sorry, over sound. Um, and then down in these pools, we have some great Oh, I don't know what you would call it, algae, um, some aquatic grasses, some different type of kelp, and it shimmers in the sunlight. And so when you're paddling through, or if it's low tide and you get, can walk out, you definitely get to see. And it's this nice wide blade of, I'm just gonna call it a grass. And as the sun hits it, you get all these magical jewel tones. So you get to see, you know, the emeralds, the turquoise, the, the great blues, and they all just sparkle with the light. Just absolutely fabulous. Anyway, if you have a free couple hours on a weekend, on a weekday, it'll be quieter on a weekday. Out, it is this Rosario Bay, and that's where you can definitely find the um, tide pools easier and a good little hike you can park over bowman bay and then you can hike down and do this loop that comes around rosario drop down see the tide pools and then have a picnic as you go back to your enjoy your day i'm gonna finish my hike stretching my legs and seeing what all i can find in the water so enjoy your day bye bye